Hi, Tracy here, uh, T Nappy on Twitter. I'm doing a quick tutorial on uh, organizing your tweets uh, through TweetDeck. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to go to TweetDeck.com and if you've never used an Adobe Air platform uh, product before, you're going to need to come down here and you're going to need to click this link and download um, the Adobe Air runtime first and then you need to download the TweetDeck Air file and then you need to install the TweetDeck um, program and I'm not going to go through all of that it's pretty self-explanatory and then once you do that you'll go to start and your programs and then you'll see uh, TweetDeck and it has um, this little blackbird down here and um, when you open it up it's going to look like this and it's black and it's dark because I guess it's a blackbird and a lot of people don't like that but I'm going to show you how you can change that in a minute um, but what you see and one of the things that a lot of people like about TweetDeck is these three columns um, over here on the left it says all tweets and that's all the people that you are following and the tweets that, that come in from them that comes in this column then obviously here is the replies column and those are conversations just you know to you from the people that you're following or, or you know directly conversations to you this is your direct messages column and those are your private messages and for obvious reasons I have cleared those out and um, then you can actually scroll and I'll show you the beauty of this later and you'll notice that I have more columns and I'll show you how you can set those up either and even filter in specifically um, and, and have more filtering and organization of your tweets um, but you'll notice that down here and how did I clear out my messages you'll notice that here I can clear all those tweets out um, clear just the ones that I've seen mark them all as seen um, I can filter them a little bit um, you know just filter them by username and you know all this kind of stuff and, and you know include exclude so it's um it's it's kind of cool and notice these arrows I can I can move these over I can I can move my columns around if I wanted my direct messages all the way over here or if I wanted to move it back over here I can so you can shift your columns around and move them wherever you want to which is really convenient when you've added new columns um, to filter something and um, say you want to have it over in your window view for a short period of time um, if you're watching something and then you want to move it back out of the way uh, let's come up here and see what these are. Um, this icon up here is where you tweet. Click that to open it and type in your message. You can even shorten a URL and add a twit pick. Uh, just click it again to close it. Um, this is all tweets. Um, if you want to search, you would click this. Um, and this is where you would add new columns. And say, for example, I wanted to add a search, and you can use the uh, to include searches with and or or and if you want to use a specific search you would use a phrase in quotes so let's say I wanted to search for uh, any tweets coming in whether I'm following these people or not um, about making soap or um, bath yeah, I can't type salt I, I think I want to. I like those things. I make soap and I, I make bath salts. And you'll notice that it has added um, a column over here about any tweets that pertain okay. to making soap, or it would also include any that might have the term, see, bath salts, either or, or if I wanted to have, if it included both, I would have and. But that's the, that's. So that's how you would do that. And if I wanted to move that over, I just click the little arrow. So that's what the search parameter is for. And that's really good. And you'll notice that I already have some searches done for like the top conservatives on Twitter hashtag. And that's what that is. That's with the plus sign. Those are hashtags. And you'll see those on Twitter. And I know a lot of people are, are confused by what those are. Um, and if you're not sure what one is, you know, put that hashtag in a tweet and go what is this because you you know I'm, I don't know what this hashtag is just you know what is that and you'll get a reply and somebody will tell you what it means um, in this case TCOT is top conservatives on Twitter and this hashtag um, CWTU is Christian women tweet up those what those uh, that's what those particular ones are so um, and ones that I follow and you'll notice that I have them sorting into columns so that I can follow all tweets 
uh, for those two particular hashtags. I don't need to necessarily follow everyone who is in those groups. As long as those hashtags are anywhere within a tweet, it will go straight in those columns and I can follow the conversations for those tweets. So that is the uh, short on how you can organize tweets and follow conversations without necessarily having to follow everyone who is uh, partaking of those particular conversations or groups. Okay, up here in um, settings, and this is the settings, this little tool looking thing, uh, you want to click that and you can tick this if you want it to play a sound and you'll notice here um, every time I'm getting new messages it pops up this little window and it tells you what you're getting. Um, you want to tick this if you want it to play a sound every time it does that. I prefer it doesn't. If you want that little pop-up window to be by uh, default down here at the bottom, um, you can do that or you can have it up at the top. If you want to change the colors of TweetDeck, you can do that. And um, if you click that, see, it'll show you what it's changing when you, when you click it. And click that again, it's changing that. And click that, it's changing that. And um, this is also where you would change the font. Um, if you, this is the original font. If you want to use Twitter keys, um, which are little uh, graphics that you know you want, you might want to display. Um, you can do that. You have to tick this to use Twitter keys, and it changes the font to be able to use that. Um, and you can do that. Um, and then the Twitter API limits. Um, sometimes you'll notice on TweetDeck you'll get a rate limit exceeded, or perhaps you've heard of that. Um, and in some other Twitter apps, that is not TweetDeck's fault. It's not you know Twirl or, or the other app's fault. Uh, Twitter itself puts a limit on the API. I found that in uh, TweetDeck, if I leave my uh, limit to 44%, the higher up closer to 100% you go, the more likely you are to get a rate limit exceeded. So I leave mine at 44% and it actually works pretty well for me. Um, so you might want to adjust that. It depends on how many people you're following or that are following, you know, that tweets that come in and it affects that API limit. Uh, you can actually turn off automatic updates and then uh, just click this little refresh button and get updates whenever you choose to instead of automatically and you know that would resolve that as well. Um, and then this is the donate button if you want to donate money to the fine folks who created TweetDex this is where you would do that. So once you've set all your settings then click save and there you are and you've made your um, TweetDeck customized to however you want it. If you want a single column view, you can click that here and do that, and you, we just have one column so it's less confusing for you, just a smaller thing. You can go back here, click it again. If I wanted to refresh and get um, tweets, you know, instantly, you know, I'd click that button if I had any, and this is where you would log out. Um, that's pretty much the lowdown on uh, TweetDeck. Um, helps you organize your tweets and sort everything by conversation or whatever search parameters you put in there. Makes it really easy to uh, control the massive amount of tweets that might be coming in your tweet stream. Um, anyway, if you have any questions, uh, my web URL and my Twitter address will be at the end of this uh, video. Thank you.